I am Jaren. I'm a PhD student. Sorry. I'm a PhD student in Eindhoven University of Technology. I'm working in automated machine learning group. Today, I would like to present our work called Adaptive Continual Learning. Uh, before introducing our approach, I would like to briefly provide an overview of the fundamental terms related to continual learning. Continual learning aligns with the way how humans learn throughout their lives, building on prior knowledge while acquiring new skills and adapting to new information. And similar to how we might forget details of a subject we haven't revisited in a while in continual learning, models may struggle to remember the earlier learned tasks when focusing on the new ones. Extensive research has been conducted and still there is a large ongoing effort to address the challenge of catastrophic forgetting. The solutions are primarily classified into three categories as regularization-based, memory-based, and architecture-based. Uh, like how our brains consolidate essential information, regularization helps the model focus on critical parameters for each task. And memory-based methods relates to how we recall about past experiences to reinforce our memories. And finally, architecture-based methods analogous to how the human brain's architecture evolves and adapts as we learn new skills. The AI model can modify its architecture dynamically. Uh, commonly utilized approaches, particularly those involving regularization and memory, often make a crucial but limiting assumption which is assuming that each task will require the same sort of hyperparameter values. For example, fixed learning rates are commonly used in training models. This assumption implies that the learning rate is predetermined and does not adapt to the evolving data distributions or changing the complexity of tasks. A constant learning rate might not be optimal for learning new tasks with differing complexities. Even though we have techniques like learning rate schedulers, the starting learning rate at the beginning of each task is usually the same, and the specific points where we might adjust it are also set uniformly for all tasks. So in a way, it's, it's still like saying it's fixed throughout. Similarly, traditional regularization-based methods often assume fixed values for the regularization hyperparameter across all tasks. This assumption implies that the regularization strength chosen during model training remains constant and optimal for all subsequent tasks. And many memory-based approaches assume a predefined memory size per task. This implies that a fixed number of samples or experiences from a task are stored for future reference. While it's possible to scale the memory size with the number of tasks, it's important to note that this approach isn't entirely adaptive either. Even when scaling, we end up with defining a fixed total memory size which might not effectively adapt to the varying demands of each task. The fixed assumption of hyperparameters brings important limitations. The limitations of fixed hyperparameter setting in continual learning can be outlined as, first, lack of adaptability. A fixed hyperparameter setting might be suitable for one task, but suboptimal for another. I would like to go over with the fun example to emphasize these limitations. Imagine having a one-size-fits-all recipe for cooking. While it might work for certain dishes, it would likely be inadequate for others. Fixed hyperparameters operate in a similar manner. They assume the same recipe fits all dishes. However, just as you wouldn't use the same seasonings for both a dessert and a main course, fixed hyperparameters struggle to adapt to the varying complexities of different tasks and memories. Second, risk of overfitting or underfitting. Fixed hyperparameters may lead to overfitting 
or underfitting, especially when the data characteristics change. Think of a fixed hyperparameters, like using a single cooking time for all recipes. What if the time was meant for baking cookies, but you are making a pasta dish? The result won't be ideal. Similarly, when we apply the same hyperparameters or cooking time to new tasks, we risk overbaking or undercooking our model, leading to suboptimal outcomes. And finally, possible inefficiency in resource usage. Consider using the same quantity of ingredients for all dishes regardless of the recipe. This approach would likely lead to wasted ingredients and unsatisfactory meals. Fixed hyperparameters similarly ignore the recipe or specific needs of each task resulting in inefficient usage of computational resources or, for example, memory size. The limitations of a fixed hyperparameter setup in continual learning uh, prompt the need for a dynamic and adaptive approach. We present at the CL a concept designed to mitigate these limitations and bolster model performance in evolving continual learning scenarios. With this way, we aim to overcome the rigidity of fixed hyperparameters, enhance adaptability to diverse and evolving tasks, and optimize the model performance by dynamically adjusting key hyperparameters based on task characteristics. Other CL defines the regularization magnitude, learning rate, or memory size per task as functions that consist set of incremental tasks, conditioned on the current learning task and all previous tasks. In a formal context, we express eta t as a sequence of learning grades, eta 1, eta 2, up to eta t. And similarly, lambda t as a sequence of regularization strengths, lambda 1, up to lambda t. And additionally, mt represents a sequence of memory sizes, m1, m2, and up to mt. The values for eta t, lambda t, and mt are determined through an optimization process that minimizes the given objective. Here, bt is a randomly selected class balanced validation subset of the current task and previous tasks that guide the model's adaptation with careful consideration of both new and previous task characteristics and prevent bias over certain classes. After each round of model training, we utilize the validation set VT to evaluate the chosen hyperparameter configurations. This evaluation process is vital in determining the most effective hyperparameter settings and ultimately aiding in the optimization process. After the overview of other CL, I would like to briefly mention our experimental setup, then conclude my presentation. We will be substantiating our approach through evaluation using Split Cipher 100 and Mini ImageNet dataset, each organized into 10 tasks, each compromising 10 classes per task. We carefully selected four foundational baseline methods to serve as strong references for our adaptive approach. Two of these methods, elastic weight consolidation and learning without forgetting, operate on a regularization basis, while the other two methods, iCarl and weight alignment, fall under the memory-based approach. First method, EWC, aims to retain crucial weights from previous tasks by penalizing deviations in weight values. On the other hand, in the LWF, the knowledge is distilled from the old model to guide the training of the new model, ensuring it retains important information while adapting to new tasks or data. iCarl leverages stored exemplars from past tasks to mitigate catastrophic forgetting and improve task-specific learning. And weight alignment is a classifier correction method that adjusts the weights of neural network 
specifically focusing on the classifier layer. Its aim is to prevent bias or imbalance in the classifier by appropriately aligning the weights, ensuring fair and accurate predictions across different classes or tasks. These chosen ba baselines are intentionally complementary, covering different aspects of continual learning methods. By implementing our adaptive approach to these strong foundational methods and comparing against their original version, we aim to showcase the effectiveness and versatility of our proposed approach. To find the best hyperparameters, we employ a powerful search algorithm known as three Parsen estimators. TPE, a method rooted in Bayesian optimization. It's an important part of our hyperparameter optimization process. In our study, TPE serves as a search algorithm. It navigates within specified ranges for crucial hyperparameters such as learning rate, regularization strength and memory size per task. This exploration is aimed at finding the best values for those hyperparameters. We evaluate the chosen configuration within the defined search space of hyperparameters using the validation set. This allows us to assess how well the model performs with those specific settings and aiding us in finding the most effective hyperparameter settings. Lastly, we will comprehensively assess the outcomes using widely recognized and commonly employed metrics, notably incremental accuracy and backward transfer. These metrics provide, provide a robust evaluation of the model's performance in the context of continued learning and knowledge retention. To summarize our work, we raise the important issue of adaptive hyperparameter selection in class incremental learning. We propose to predict the learning rate, regularization magnitude, and memory size conditioned on the state of the deep learner and the current learning task via Bayesian optimization. And finally, we aim to demonstrate the efficacy of adaptive learning through experiments on well-established benchmarks and showcasing substantial en enhancements in accuracy while minimizing forgetting. We believe with this study, we will lead the way in introducing the concept of adaptive hyperparameter optimization in the realm of class incremental learning. And as the field advances, we anticipate that these insights will shape the evolution of advanced continual learning approaches and empower deep neural networks to adapt to evolving tasks. Thank you for listening. Thank you for that amazing presentation. Um, so if anyone has any questions, please use the Q&A section. So now we, we, we can prepare for the next presentation. Um, Federico? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. So thanks, Seren. Uh, okay, thank you.